Hello guys and welcome back to another episode with me, Pug Gaming, and today we're going to work on some custom stairs. And when I say custom stairs, I mean let's get some stairs actually working properly. So let's get some sims walking up and down these and I'm going to show you a few little techniques of how to do so. So step one is to jump onto the workshop and find a suitable stair for your project. There's a lot on there nowadays. I'll drop you a link below to a couple that I have found which are really, really nice to use. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using Armesto's staircases. So what we need to do first is place one down. And what I'm doing, for example, in this tutorial is I'm going to place two next to each other to give us a bigger working space to do so. But you can get away with doing this on just a single staircase. Now, depending on what you're doing yourself in terms of where this staircase is going, I'm gonna create an artificial second layer, which is where the staircase is leading up to. Obviously, for me, in this purpose of a tutorial, it's hard to really have a um, city around me, so I'm building this from scratch, so we're gonna to have to make use of what we've got. So we're just gonna use the plubble asphalt here just to create a second tier. Next up, you need to select the pedestrian paths and I would probably get away of using the bike paths just because they've got the extra markings on there so it's a bit easier to see um, in terms of how high up they are and that will come very useful a bit later on as you'll see. So what you need to do is use the Move It Mod tool now to get the actual uh, bridge pathway over the staircase as close as possible, so almost so the bottom uh, material is showing. The good thing about the, using these as an example is you can use the um, side walls as a good reference point to really get these down in the correct place. So as you can see it's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be able to bring everything to level because of the way the mechanics work within the game. But this is pretty much as close as you can probably get on this particular staircase which will allow people to walk across it in a proper fashion. Now again, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've added some buildings and a little sort of settlement above where the staircase is, just so I can bring some life into the actual area. Otherwise, we're not going to get people walking up and down the paths anyway, whether they are invisible or not. <laughs> so we're just going to finish off this little area here. I just sharpened it up a little bit by putting the um, walls around it as well. Um, and I made sure that I led the... Um, the pavement right up to the road so it means that people will cross over the road and follow this pavement right down to eventually or hopefully the bottom path. Now this is just showing you another technique of how to get more than one level across so pretty much we're just going to make two tiers here just going to run two paths parallel exactly the same measurements of what we've done previously just so then we can show that we can have more than one um, pathway and it just adds to the realism. You don't have to, you can use the one if you want to, but this just makes things a little bit more real because there'll be people walking on both sides rather than just the central area. But again, a little bit of tweaking comes into play here and make sure you have upgraded the paths to be bridges, otherwise you'll get this sort of a mess. So the next thing to do as well is place down some event generators at the bottom of the staircase and also the top if you want to. This will also mean that it will force the sims to walk over the bridge and around. So eventually this road will not be complete on the outskirts, so I'll just leave it for this pavement. But obviously in your city and build there will be more than one route to um, head to this particular area. But I'm just going to force them down this route for now just to make you aware of how it will look once completed. So next job is to switch over from the pavements to some invisible pavements. Now there's quite a lot on the workshop, some work better than others and it's more of a trial and error. I've not found one that's actually, well, that worked perfectly for every scenario. So you may have to use a couple, but as you can see here now, the pedestrian paths have been removed and upgraded to the invisible paths. And now as things increase in terms of the population, people are now walking beautifully up and down the stairs as you can see here it really is a great way to bring to life your city so if you want to try it out yourself i'm hoping this tutorial would have helped gain some extra knowledge of how to do so and if you haven't already make sure you're following the channel subscribe hit that button and we'll be releasing a lot more interesting tutorials in the future 
Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and all the best.